But during the second half of the 17th century, a new movement known as the Enlightenment period began. Like from the Enlightenment came a school of thought known as the classical school of criminology, which emphasizes the ideas that people make choices to commit crime and that punishment should be about preventing future crimes from being committed. Let's look closer at the classical school of criminology, including its influence on modern law. Jordan is interested in criminology, and he's heard that things before the Enlightenment were pretty bad for criminals and people suspected of being criminals, but he's still not quite sure what the classical school of criminology is about. To understand the classical school, Jordan's teacher tells him to remember the five key principles of the classical school of criminology. Number one, rationality. The classical school assumes that people have free will and that they choose to commit crimes. For example, if Jordan decides to steal some candy at the store, he is not forced to based on some predestiny. He chooses to steal that candy. Number two, hedonism. The classical school also assumes that people seek pleasure and try to avoid pain. For Number three, punishment. Remember how we said that a key idea was the idea of hedonism, where people seek pleasure and try to avoid pain? Well, that informs punishment according to the classical school. For example, if Jordan thinks about stealing the candy and then realizes that he could go to jail for it, he might not steal it because he'll be trying to avoid the pain of jail. Number four, human rights. Jordan has learned that before the classical school of criminology, punishments could be very harsh indeed. According to the classical school of criminology, all individuals have rights and society needs to respect the rights of the individuals. Number five, due process. The idea of due process is that people accused of a crime are considered innocent until proven guilty and that they have the chance to go to trial and face the judicial system. If Jordan was accused of stealing the candy and then just thrown in jail without a trial, that would be a violation of his due process. The five principles of the classical school of criminology sound very familiar to Jordan. He's heard people talk about punishment for crimes as a deterrent, and he's heard that it's important to uphold human rights and to avoid cruel and unusual punishment. He's also heard of due process and of the phrase innocent until proven guilty. The reason much of the classical school's principles are familiar to Jordan is because it has had a major impact on our modern judicial system. All modern justice systems assume that people have free will and choose to commit crimes. This is a direct descendant of the classical school principles.